Hello everyone, today a short video, an introduction to the GPS eTrex family with the example here of the eTrex 20X. In this video we will focus on the main functions of the GPS and uh, how to use the key buttons. Uh, prior to start, just notice that uh, this product is using two AA alkaline batteries that are not provided into the pack, so you need to advise your customer to purchase the batteries at the same time as purchasing the device. To start the device, we will uh, first use the on-off button, which is on the right side. It's also written light because this button uh, will enable us to adjust the backlight uh, once the device is on. So you do a long press, which is... Uh, around one second on the button to start it and you have the confirmation with the Garmin icon and uh, different informations on the bottom of the screen uh, wh while the product is uh, loading the maps and data that are already installed into the device. Once the GPS is on we will arrive on the main menu but uh, take care because this does not mean that the GPS has uh, already defined this position what we call fixed the satellites. So in order to know if the device has fixed the satellites, we need to go first into the satellite menu. This menu is um, at the end of all the functions. So instead of scrolling down through all the menus, we will just scroll up using the joystick uh, to access quickly to the satellite menu. So I press up, here is satellites, and I enter into the menu by clicking on the joystick. So here is the uh, satellite menu. Um, you have different informations on the satellite detection and the accuracy of the GPS signal for each satellite. So first of all, you will see that if the uh, GPS is fixed, you will see the position on the top part of the screen, which is there. You have uh, different units that are uh, given by the GPS e -track. So you can select uh, degrees and minutes. You can also select UTM or any units depending on your country. Uh, close to the position, you can also see the GPS accuracy, which is here, 4 meters. Uh, because the more satellites you have, the more accurate will be the signal here. Then, uh, just below these two informations, so you have here the sky view of uh, the GPS, which means the satellites that it can really detect. So here we have uh, lots of satellites, maybe eight, nine, And you have the strength of signal for each uh, satellite. And you can also see here the altitude. So in order to know the position, the GPS should detect at least three satellites. And for the altitude, it must have four satellites. So now as the GPS is uh, fixed, we will check on the map where we are. To exit the satellite menu, we'll use another key, which is the back key here on the right top side of the device. And to go back to the first page, I will press down. I will enter into the map menu by pressing the joystick. And here you have the overview of our position, which is between the river and the Decathlon Mountain Store. In order to zoom in and zoom out, we have two new keys here on the left, which is the uh, up arrow and down arrow. So with the down one, I can zoom in. And with the up one, I can zoom out. And the scale is given on the bottom part of the screen here on the left. And that's it.